Hi everyone, this is Thevia Cisco. This video is just going to be showing you how you can back up your Gears of War 3 player data using the new cloud storage system. So, before you can save anything to the cloud, you have to enable it first. So if you haven't done so already, I'll quickly show you how you can do so. It's really easy. From the dashboard, you just press the guide button. Scroll across to settings. Go down to your system settings. And into storage. So it'll show up here as if it was a USB or a memory card. So you just want to click on it with A and choose Enable. It'll take about 20 seconds and then it'll be all set up for you. So once it's set up, you can access it like it was a memory card or a USB. Obviously I've got nothing in here yet, but we'll be uh, making a backup of my Gears of War 3 player data very shortly. So if you've watched uh, my previous video on how to back up your data, basically you know that what you want to end up with to back up your data is two sets of your Gears of War 3 player data file and two sets of your save campaigns file. So for anyone who hasn't um, seen this before, if you go into your hard drive or wherever you normally store your Gears of War 3 data and go into it, this is all your character skins, weapon skins, DLC and all of that kind of stuff. You can see my player data file here, linked to my gamer tag, and also my save campaigns linked to my gamer tag. So if you try and copy them, so if I tried to copy this to the cloud, it won't let you and you'll get this error message about cannot transfer item. So basically we're not going to be able to copy the two files in order to end up with backup files. However, um, luckily all the data is backed up to the Microsoft service. So we're going to sort of trick the game into making a spare set of files for us. Basically all that's going to involve is we're going to load up the game and instead of choosing my hard drive, which I would normally choose, I'm going to choose the cloud storage device. When the game doesn't detect a player data file on there already, it's going to download all of my content straight from the Microsoft servers. Uh, then we're going to make it uh, save these, this data into a new set of player data file and save campaigns file. So here's the main menu. I'm going to press start. Instead of choosing my hard drive, I'm going to choose this new cloud save games. So it's going to say loading profile and you'll see it's saying downloading content. So right now it's downloading all of my data straight from the servers instead of reading it from the player data file on my hard drive. So you can see that it's done there. So I've still got everything I would normally have. You can see I'm still rank 100. If I go into my stats, I've still got all my stats, achievements, unlocks, I've got ribbons, medals, absolutely everything. So I haven't lost anything um, by what we've just done. So that was step one to backing up your data. All you do is load up the game and choose the cloud instead of whatever storage device you usually use. So then the last part of backing up your data is step two, and that's to play one match of absolutely anything. You can play a quick match, you can play a ranked match, private match, horde, beast, anything you want. I'm just gonna do a one round, one minute war zone. I'm not even gonna play the whole thing. I'll quit out as soon as it starts. Um, but basically, the reason that you play one game is even though it's downloaded my content from the servers, it hasn't actually saved a new um, player data file and save campaigns file yet. Um, so when you're playing, you play any match and then you return to the main menu, you'll see it will say updating stats and reading, writing, save games. So this is when it's saving your new set of files for you. So basically, I'm just going to let this load and then quit straight out. So pretty much, um, after I've done this, that's pretty much all the steps involved to making your backup. So just to make it really clear again, step one is just load up the game. Instead of choosing your hard drive, you choose the cloud storage, and then play one match of absolutely anything. So it's just going to load here. I'm going to press the start button and return to main menu. It's just going to load for a second, and then you'll see it say updating stats. So there it goes, updating stats and reading, writing, save games. And that means that it saved all my data to the new cloud storage. So just to check it out, we're going to go back to the dashboard and look at the new files that it's created. So 
So I'm going to go back into the guide, back into my system settings, and into my storage. And then click on cloud. As you can see, there's a new Gears of War 3 save in here that wasn't there before. So this is my player data and my save campaigns. So I've now got two sets of those files, um, one on my hard drive and one on the cloud. So basically it was two steps, really, really simple um, in order to back up your data. So if you've watched my other video, you can also do this same method um, using a memory card or a USB stick. It's entirely your preference. Um, so just uh, if you haven't watched that previous video, there's just a couple more pieces of information. So basically, now that you've got two sets of your player data, if you do get rank reset, um, this is how you uh, would recover your data. So being rank reset means that the um, set of player data that you have on your hard drive or wherever you usually store your data has become corrupted. So you would want to go into that. Um, scroll down to your Gears of War 3 save and delete the player data that's in there. Since it's been corrupted, you don't want it um, corrupting any of, your, any of your other files. So you would want to go into your hard drive and delete that. Then you would want to load up the game again and um, you would want to select at the main menu, select your cloud storage like I did just now. The game would then realize that there is a valid player data file in your cloud storage and it would load all your data straight from there. So although you were rank one before, it will read all your stuff from the cloud uh, data and would restore everything for you. So what you want to do after that is it's loaded all your data. You would want to play one game just like we did just then. You don't even need to finish it. You can quit straight out. And at that time when it says uh, updating stats and reading, writing, save games, it will be copying the um, backup data straight to the servers. So then you'll have one set of player data in your cloud and you'll have restored your data that's on the servers. So then you would want to return to the dashboard and then load up the game uh, a second time um, and then choose your hard drive. And what that will do, the game again will download the restored data from the servers and um, then you play one game and that will restore uh, your player data file on your hard drive. I know that sounds complicated, but it's not really. So you just delete the one on your hard drive, load up from the cloud, play one game, go back to the dashboard, load up from your hard drive, and then play one game again. Then you'll be back to exactly where we are now. So you have one set on your hard drive, one set in your cloud, and your data on the servers will all be back. So uh, one more thing, this is the last thing. Um, you'll want to update your backup regularly because you will only get back, if you do get reset, you will only get back the data that was on your backup. So if you get reset at um, level 60, but your backup was from when you were level 50, you will only get, um, you will only be level 50 when you restore your data. So you want to update your backup uh, semi-regularly. The way that you do this, and there are two ways really, you can either uh, delete these files that we just made in the cloud. So you would go into the cloud, just select them and choose delete. So you could delete them and then make new ones exactly the same way I just showed you. The second way, and a lot of people have told me this works perfect, is just load up the game, select the cloud, play one game, and it will write over the old files for you. There's really no wrong way to do it, so it's whichever way you're more comfortable doing it. Um, if you do have any problems, any questions, any concerns, you can absolutely feel free to ask me. So you can leave those questions in the comments on this video or in my reset thread on the Gears of War 3 forums. Um, I'm going to make this video public this time, so if you've just stumbled across this video and haven't been to the forums before, I'll put a link to my thread in the description so you can find it. So, uh, good luck guys. Um, I hope this video was kind of helpful. And yeah, feel free to ask any questions. Thanks for watching.